Hello, I'm Charlie and welcome to Authentic Mental Health, the channel that offers advice and friendly support within our like-minded community with videos on mental health, self-help and self-improvement. So if you're new here, make sure you're subscribed and you've turned the bell notification button on so you never miss our helpful videos that are going to help you. Today's helpful video is coming up right after this. Ostracized from a cruel society Just cause I suffer from a little anxiety Please help me I say quietly through gritted teeth and a fight for sobriety When you think about anxiety You will probably think about someone who's nervous Tense Or restless Because they are common symptoms of anxiety That pretty much everybody knows about There are also many, many, many signs and symptoms of anxiety that people don't know about too. Here are 10 anxiety symptoms that often go unnoticed. Number one, cold hands or feet. You're probably thinking, Charlie, how on earth are cold hands or feet related to anxiety at all? It just means that you're cold and you need to warm up. Well, actually, anxiety can cause your hands and feet to feel cold, even when there's no reason for them to be. When you're anxious, your fight, flight, and freeze system kicks in. During this, your body is directing blood away from certain areas of your body to your vital organs, so you're prepared to combat or fight whatever dangerous situation you are in. If you notice your hands or your feet are always cold, it might be a sign that you are suffering from anxiety. Number two, digestive issues. Whenever you feel nauseous or have a pain in your stomach, you immediately think it might have something to do with what you've eaten, and most of the time, it does. However, if you constantly feel nauseous and have a pain in your stomach and nothing helps it go away, it could be a sign of anxiety. If your body thinks you're under threat, it can't be bothered to properly digest the food that you have eaten, as it needs to concentrate on your other organs to protect you from danger. If you constantly have stomach aches, feel nauseous, or have diarrhea, but nothing helps relieve these problems, you should contact and ask your doctor for help, because anxiety might be to blame. Number three, dizziness. Feeling dizzy can happen for a number of different reasons, such as if you don't feel very well or you haven't drunk enough water, but it can also happen if you suffer from anxiety. When people are anxious, they totally forget how to breathe properly. It sounds a very strange thing for people to forget, but when your mind is racing at a million miles an hour when you're anxious, Breathing and breathing properly is the last thing on your mind. Many people unknowingly hold their breath or take short, shallow breaths when they're anxious, which causes them to feel dizzy. A way to combat this is when you next feel dizzy and you think it's due to your anxiety. Take a few deep breaths and this will help you feel more central and relaxed. Number four avoidance. Anxiety can make you avoid certain places and situations without you even knowing it or understanding why. If someone is scared that they are going to throw up due to their anxiety, they will avoid going anywhere that makes them feel anxious as they don't want other people to see them throw up or for them to embarrass themselves. Or if someone stutters or blushes when they're anxious, they may avoid doing a presentation at school or work. Without realizing it, over time, this avoidance can turn into a habit, which will affect the way you live your life. If you notice that you are avoiding things and you think it's because of your anxiety, you can begin to get the help you need to get your life back on track and not avoid things in the future. You can get help by speaking to your doctor or mental health professional. Number five, perfectionism. It's normal to organize your life or to clean your room or house. Everybody does that. It's normal. 
But if you're doing something over and over and over again, or spending a lot of time on things because everything has to be done right or perfect, you might be struggling with anxiety. If everything in your life or things in your life have to be perfect, it could be because you're worrying about not being or feeling good enough, which could be down to your anxiety. Number six, indecisiveness. Do you struggle making decisions such as what you're going to eat for dinner or where you're going to go on holiday this year? Some people become frozen or stuck when making decisions because of their anxiety. People who suffer from anxiety struggle with confidence. They rarely ever feel confident and this shows in their decision making. They question everything, worry about everything, and that's why people find it very difficult to be decisive when they suffer from anxiety. Number seven, foggy mind. People who struggle with anxiety have trouble concentrating. Anxiety causes you to worry about the future, but also past events, which you may or may not have made a fool out of yourself. Because of this, it makes it almost impossible for someone with a foggy mind to be present in the future and concentrate. Number eight, depersonalization. It's possible to feel like you're losing touch with reality, especially during a panic attack or when you're extremely anxious. You can feel like you're in a dream-like state, which is also called depersonalization. Number nine, fatigue. Anxiety can make you feel tired all of the time, even when you've had enough sleep. If you struggle to stay awake during the day, or you feel constantly tired, it could be because of your anxiety. As we have already gone over in this video, people who suffer from anxiety are constantly worried about the future and what could happen to them. Not only that, they are constantly thinking and worrying about the past too. Did they say something wrong to somebody yesterday? Did they upset someone last week when they text them? Did they make a fool out of themselves at the party they had last Saturday night? Thinking and feeling this way is extremely exhausting, even though you may not realize it, which leads to you constantly feeling tired. Number 10, excessive sweating. People don't just sweat when they've been to the gym or they're lying on the beach topping up their tan. People who suffer from anxiety can randomly sweat when they become anxious, which leads them to be more self-conscious and anxious too. On top of the things that they are already worrying about, they are now worrying about sweating in public and people seeing them. It's a vicious cycle. If you need help with your anxiety, there is a link in the description box down below where you can speak to someone immediately and begin to get the help you need and deserve to get your life back on track. The link is in the description box down below. I would highly recommend you go there after the video and begin to get the help you need and deserve. I now want to hear from you guys and girls in the comment section down below. Do you have any of the 10 signs we have gone over in this video? If you do, which ones and how do they affect your life? Let me and others know in the comment section down below. If you've enjoyed this video, found it useful and helpful, please give this video a like. If you're new here, make sure you're subscribed to Authentic Mental Health for more anxiety videos like this again in the future. Take care guys and girls and I'll see you all again in another video.